Hey yeah, guys, how's it going? Welcome to another uh, Shit Easy Motorcycle Camp Cooking. Jeez, that's a bloody mouthful sometimes. <clears throat> so tonight what we're doing is, we're doing um, chi uh, chips, hot dogs, with melted cheese, some chives, some tomato sauce, that's about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to cook all this in one, one hit. And I'm hoping in a way that it's not going to be uh, really messy. Now, I did actually try to do this previously, doing the chips um, and frying them in this. But I had such a bloody issue. It all burnt and stuck to it. It just became a real pain in the ass. So we tried something different. I haven't tried the, the hot dogs, but we did the chips the way that I'm going to show you. And it worked really good. Now, there's a couple of other things that I want to do. I've got a brand new can, and what I've done is I've weighed it, and it this way, so it says there's 220 grams, now 220 grams is the actual gas in there, <clears throat> so I've used some scales and it weighs out at 325 grams, the whole thing. I have an empty one, I've weighed that, and it weighs 100 grams, so that works out about right. So my, why I'm doing that is that because this is going to take about 20 to 30 minutes to cook. So I thought, well, if we're going to be cooking for that long, it would be interesting to know how much of uh, how much gas is going to be out of that. Just for purposes, like, I don't know how many times I always take extra ones of these and I never bloody use them. It's the same with when, I'm, um, when we go and do a little adventure trick. I always, like, bring an extra can of, uh, of, the, uh, of the stew. And most of the time, I never, I've never had to use it, so I'm always lugging around this extra stuff. With the stew stuff, I've changed that I don't bring the extra can. What I do is, if it's an emergency thing, I'll just bring along um, two-minute noodles. They're small, it's really light, and if it's an emergency, you know, two-minute noodles will, will be fine. So that's why I'm doing that. Now, the other thing that I want to do is, I went and, today, I went and bought this, because I was thinking with the cheese, It'd be nice to be able to grate it instead of just chopping it all up with a knife. So I went and bought this cheap bloody grater from, um, where was it, from Kmart. So what I'm going to do is maybe pull some of this apart and maybe do a bit of cutting up. So while that's cooking, we'll head into the shed and chop this up and see if I can make it small enough so that I can actually carry that along with my other cooking gear. Cool, let's get stuck into it. <clears throat> so the first thing what we'll do is we'll set up the pot so I've got a, just a regular pot <clears throat> that trivet thing that I made out of the uh, the baking cookie tray thing that just goes in the bottom I've got two bits of um, aluminium foil now you could most probably do this with just one but I'm going to use two because it's small. Basically, that's just going to get crammed in here. Pretty much like that. Get the second piece. Ah, that should do it. All right, gotta get my gas hooked up. Put that on there. Now I'll just move this pot to the side. Now the first thing we've got to do is make this potato, and obviously the potato you can carry that in your bag. Doesn't matter what temperature or pretty much how long, as long as it you know doesn't go green or whatever. But as you know, normal, it's like the weekend. So that'll be fine. <coughs> the old trusty uh, knife. Now, how am I going to cut this up? Uh, I think I'll cut it that way. Uh, cut little slices. Now, you can obviously do this um, like wedges, or you could do um, french fries, I suppose, if you want or just thick chips. That's your choice, whichever way you want to bloody do it. So 
So before I go any further, <clears throat> I'll grab this pot. I've just got some oil, it's vegetable oil. Use whatever oil you want, I suppose. And what we'll do, hopefully you can see that guys. I'm just gonna drizzle some of that. <laughs> drizzle, I sound like a chef. Wax, wax some of that on the bottom. Then I can grab these chips and just put them in there. Let's do the rest of these. Cool. So now we just get some more oil. Wax some more over it. So that's the chips done. So you could do them, you could do them just like that um, and just have the chips. So these um, these hot dogs, so they are what well, Plum Rose, Plum Rose Premium Six Skinless Hot Dogs. <clears throat> It'd be good if they had just sausages like snags. But um, we'll see how these look. There you go, that doesn't look too bad. So the idea of these things is that these are already pre-cooked, so really all you need to do is heat them up and then eat them. So you could stick this straight on here and heat them up. Now I know you're not supposed to cook in bloody tins, but you're only basically warming that water up and, and you'd be right to go. You could whack them in the, straight into a pot boil them if you wanted to or you could stick those things in the uh, fry pan and fry them that way but what we're going to do we'll grab a couple of these out how many will we do two or three oh, i'll go three Yeah. Basically, we'll chop these up a little bit. Like that. Throw these in. So they're in there like that. So I'm going to use the uh, the chives. So these are the dehydrated chives. So obviously they have to be moistened to then get the flavour. If you were just to sprinkle sprinkle that onto something and then try and eat it, it'd be like eating grass. So now we'll whack some of that in. I mean, you can put salt, pepper, Cajun, bloody <clears throat> whatever spices you wanted to into, into this. <clears throat> So now all we're going to do is cover this up. Pretty much like that. Put the lid on it. I've got to set a timer. So I'm going to start that for 25 minutes. My click is broken, I reckon, on my bloody gas stove. It's alright, I've got a lighter. So now all we've got to do is um, wait for that. So now what we'll do is see if we can cut this thing to make it um, a bit more usable in the pack. All right guys, so I'm in Nay's shed and this is gonna be pretty bloody rough and ready. But my idea is that I'll most probably just cut it off here. I only want this section. And I'll, I was thinking I was gonna cut this off to make it smaller, but that might be actually handy to, to hang on. Gonna just use this bloody grind, even a grinding wheel, not a bloody cutting wheel. Like I said, rough and ready. See how we go.
eye protection on. Bloody hell, that took a little bit uh, longer than I expected. But that's obviously using a grinding thing instead of a cutting thing. So there you go, we've cut it off. Like I said, rough and bloody ready. So that bit can go in the bin. And now we'll go over and just clean that up a bit. Well, there you go guys, I reckon we've bloody done a good deal. All right, back out and see how that cooking's going. All right, hopefully I haven't burnt down the man cave. Oh, it's smelling all right. Oh, you can hear it. Hear it bubbling away. All right guys, so I'll give you a better look at that. So, it's not too bad. Should, shouldn't shouldn't bloody cut myself on it. Yeah, that, that should work, I reckon. So that's now cooking away. We've done, th oh God, I see if you can go out yet. 13.21 minutes. So there's not, not much more I can do now, is still just wait that uh, another 13 minutes and hopefully that'll be done. So I'll see you in a minute. All right guys, so we've got about seven minutes to go. What we'll do is we'll try and uh, grate this cheese up with my new grating machine. So I'll pull all these out. I think doing the grating would work better with those um, those wedge cheese uh, ones, but this is all I had at the moment. So we're going to try it with this. All right, let's see what happens. Ah, seems to be working. <clears throat> well, there you go, grated cheese. <laughs> Hopefully that won't be too hard to uh, to clean up. All right, guys, we're just about done. What do we got? 18, 30, 29 seconds. All right, so we'll, we'll just finish it at that. Turn that off, out of the way. Oh, I've got shit everywhere, guys. Mm. All right. Let's pop this open. Have a look at what we've got. It's smelling pretty good. Ow. The first thing we, I know that these sausages are gonna be cooked. It's the potato. Oh, I've got to check. Oh yeah, look at that. That is cooked up. Nice and soft. So what I'll do is just whack some of this, or whack this cheese in here. Is what I want it to do. is um, just melt, melt in there. Cover that back up for a minute. Ooh. And how's that? Nice, clean, bloody pot. Beautiful. Got a bit of stickage. So I reckon we could have got away with 20 minutes doing this. Beautiful. 
Hey, that looks all right, doesn't it? So I'll just grab our sauce. Actually, before I put the sauce on, I should taste it. That's not too bad. The, um, the sausage, not a huge, you know, it's not, it's not like a snag, like a sausage, uh, like a barbecue sausage. That's all right. Now for the potatoes. Potatoes are really good, especially with the cheese. Whack some tomato sauce on there. <clears throat> like I said, good for one serve. <laughs> That is a bloody winner. That's good stuff. <clears throat> mm. Bloody brilliant. So there you go, guys. <clears throat> Grab a potato, 10 of these bloody uh, hot dog things. Some chives or spices that you want to add to it. If you like tomato sauce or dead horse, is what we call it. Um, a bit of oil, the foil, uh, obviously the, the cheese, and that that's a meal, man. That is bloody good shit. All right, guys, I'll continue eating this. Keep on riding, guys. I nearly bloody forgot. I had to weigh um, this gas. So this was 325 grams in total. We know that the can weighs 100 grams. So if we weigh that now, so that was 20, 25 minutes of cooking at, um, I don't know, at least half flame, if not a little bit more. So that says 293 grams. So that means there's still 193 grams left out of the 220 so there's still heaps of gas after 20 minutes of uh, doing that so you've got tons of oh, heaps of bloody coffee making um out of that and you'd even bloody so you could do easily um a couple of meals plus you know maybe uh lunchtime breakfast meal time uh, meal time bloody coffee yeah just out of one so there you go guys <laughs> keep on riding